let's take a look at this new Lotion Crafters calculator that I've built for all you lotion makers out there. Welcome to Thermal Mermaid. This is the newest addition to our cosmetic crafting calculator collection. This calculator will help craft a lotion formula for you and it will guide you to make a perfect formula for different types of moisturizers that you wanna make. So if you don't know the first thing about building a lotion formula, this calculator will do all the work for you. It'll create the recipe that you're looking for and you can do this in just a matter of minutes. Now, the calculator I'm gonna show you today is gonna to give you a recipe from everything from a solid lotion bar to a body butter to a light creamy summer lotion or even a face cream. So let's take a look at how to get your recipe. Now, first of all, you can pull up this free calculator at thermalmermaid.com slash calculator slash lotion calculator.php. The link to this can be found down below. And when we pull this up and look at it, you'll first notice that you have to go through the steps in order. So let's take a look here. Step one is to select what kind of product that you wanna make, pretty reasonable. So our very first drop down list gives us seven choices. So you can select anything from a balm to a body butter. And so in this example that I'm gonna show you, we're gonna make a body butter. So let's select the body butter. Now the next thing that we want to do is decide what unit of measurement that we're working in. Now you probably don't want pounds unless you're making a really huge batch, but the option's there in case you do. But for a few jars of DIY moisturizer, you'll probably want to work in ounces or grams. So let's select ounces, and then we're going to type in the number of ounces that we want to make. And I'm just going to make a 48 ounce batch of body butter, so I'll type 48 into step two. Now in step three, let's get an idea of how much, if any, water we need for this product. Click the calculate button, and this is the amount of distilled water that's needed to make 48 ounces of body butter. Now let's move down to our ingredients. Each product has a percent of a certain type of ingredients, and I have these ingredients grouped into families. So let's take a look at the first family of ingredients, and that will be our soft oils. Now here for a body butter recipe, this says that it's going to be made up of 12% of soft oils. Now we can add anywhere between one and four soft oils in our recipe, but the total amount of all the soft oils are only going to add up to be 12% of the recipe. The only thing that you need to know is that whatever soft oils you select off this list and add into your own list, they only need to add up to 100%. So this column is going to be 100% of the soft oils. So if you only want one soft oil, then you're gonna type in 100 in this column. And if you want two soft oils, then you'll put 50% in both columns or any kind of a number combination that adds up to 100%. And you can think of it really in parts if you want one part to two parts of something, you can you can break 100 down very easily that way. But whatever it is, it must add up to 100. When you click this pink calculate button, if you did a little math error, it'll stop you and it'll make you go back and add it up again. And that'll just keep our formula balanced for us. Otherwise, once you get this to 100%, you'll see that it adds to 100 and you move on to the next step. The next family of oils is the hard butters and oils. So for a body butter, it says here that we need 15% of our recipe to be hard oils. So you add your hard oils, and just like the first time, this column represents 100% out of that 15%. So you only need to make sure that this column, again, equals to 100. Now in my case, and in probably most recipes, I will choose just one hard oil, and I'll make this 100%. Now when I move down, we come to the families of waxes. And the message here says that there are no waxes in a body butter. So these buttons are not going to work. They're only going to work if you had selected a product that contains waxes. So we're gonna move on. Next, we have a humectant. So select your humectant and add 100 to the column and click calculate. Then we have an emulsifier and a thickener. And a body butter will include both of these. Now you don't have to use all the fields. You don't have to have two thickeners. 
but you do have to add something to keep the formula balanced to create the product that you selected. So each family of ingredients must have at least one item selected as long as that button is available to you to add that, to add that family of ingredients in. So once you've selected all your ingredients, you're ready to click the view or print recipe button and your recipe will appear in front of you. The math is already done in the amount of the product that you want to make. And this recipe here in front of me will make 48 ounces of a full thick body butter. Now also, there's a place that will describe whether or not you need to add a preservative or how much preservative or maybe what kind of preservative. And this is a general guide depending on which preservative that you use. Generally, preservatives will be added into a lotion anywhere between one half of 1% to about 1.5%. That will depend on the label of the preservative that you're reading. But here, this will be calculated in and you'll have that general range then you just go back and read the label on the preservative so that you can see which side of that range that you'll need to add for your product. So this calculator will give you a base recipe and with the oils and the additives that you've chosen and selected for your recipe. But now you do still need to know how to cook a lotion recipe and how to integrate special additives. So if you're already a skilled lotion maker, this calculator will let you pop out as many recipes as you like and then tweak them with the notes below and then you're ready to print out your recipe and keep it forever. And if you're a new lotion maker, then you have a very powerful tool that will formulate a base recipe. And then I would recommend that you come over to the Thermal Mermaid Soap and Cosmetic course and become a member to access the lotion and the balm and the body butter tutorials that are available in the course and recipe directory. Good luck guys, we'll see you next time. Just remember this is free to use. You do not need to log in or register to use this tool. P feel free to leave any comments and suggestions below if you try it out and you would like to make this calculator better or if you have any ideas that would improve it or if you would like to see any ingredients added, I can always tweak this so that it's a more powerful tool for your specific needs. Or if you have other ideas, if you have other types of calculators that you would like to see that we don't really have on the internet, I can build anything that you can imagine. But if you give me the ideas, that gives me a place to start. See you all soon.